NBC 15 News at 11 starts now. Now at 11, Madison area schools are now back in session for the fall semester. Plus, residents of Fitchburg plan to gather tonight to discuss the recent home explosion. And a tropical storm is heading straight toward Florida's Gulf Coast. But first, breaking news out of Beloit, where police are investigating a homicide. Officials received a call of shots fired just before midnight at the Turtle Tap Tavern. When police arrived, they found a man had been shot. That man has been identified as 32-year-old Tony Payne of Beloit, and he reportedly died at the hospital. Police say an autopsy has been scheduled for later this afternoon. So far, the investigation shows this incident was not random, and the suspect is still on the run. On to our big story today, it's September 1st. That, of course, means it's the first day of school for many districts here in southern Wisconsin. I'm joined now with NBC 15's Hannah Flood. And Hannah, you were out there for the first day, and I'm sure there are lots of smiles, but, yeah, maybe a few tears, too. <laughs> yeah, that's right, Amy. This morning, I was at Folk Elementary during their very busy first day of school parent drop-off. A lot of the kids were excited to get back. For some of them, it was their first year ever at school. Some kids, though, needed a little extra help getting pumped up for their first day. So there were a lot of volunteers and staff out in front getting kids excited for another school year. You can't go home. It's the first day of school. This is the best day of school. No. Hey, sweetheart. All right. First day of school is also a big day for parents as they send their little ones off. I spoke with one mom who said her son had a little bit of a hard time saying goodbye this morning. He started crying. He, can't, he grabs me and he goes, Mom, please, can we just go to the car? I'm like, Alex, you're going to be in third grade. He's like, Mom, but I cried last year, and I, that was second grade, and I cried before that. That was first grade, and before that, Mom. I'm like, well, you're going to be in third grade now. He's like, well, I cry every year, Mom. So he's, he's, he's in there now. I just kind of snuck off, so. Are you crying? And Amy, there were a lot of smiles out there today and a lot of there were a lot of smiles out there, you know, and a lot of kids looking forward to their first day and meeting their new classmates. So a big NBC 15 shout out to all of the kids and all of the teachers starting their first day of school. That is fantastic. I'm sure it's a day they'll all remember, even if there are a few tears. They'll still have a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Hannah, thanks so much. And Belleville High School and Middle School kicked off their school year with a special twist, a tailgate party. Students gathered around the photo booth, played games, had some breakfast, and yeah, there was even a DJ this morning. Teachers and staff say they are all about positive reinforcement, and this is a perfect way to get students excited about this upcoming year. There's usually a honeymoon period, as every person that's gone to school knows, but we really want to extend that as far as we can in the school year, and for the most part, we really do. Uh, again, Belleville's uh, really going in the right direction, doing great things, and we just want the kids to know that we appreciate them. We want them to have a great experience here, and that's what the tailgate's all about, starting off on a positive note. More than 100 students showed up early for today's special event. But for some kids this morning, school was already canceled. High Point Christian School in Madison canceled school for the day due to a power outage. Now, according to a school employee, they could not use phones to alert parents of this information, so they reached out to their sister school to inform families of the closing. The power is up and running now, but school remains canceled for the day. They are not sure what caused the power outage at this time. Well, that fall weather has arrived just in time for the first day of school, but don't get too comfortable with it. Let's check in with meteorologist A.J. Waterman. And A.J., things are going to heat back up yet again. Yeah, it's going to take some time for us to heat back up, but this will probably be the coolest day out of the next seven as we will be on the warming trend as we head over the next few days. But right now in Madison, you can see there's sunshine out there. Temperatures are on in the 60s right now. They will be topping out in the low 70s, so it will be on the cooler side today, but it is dry outside. And on Sky Tracker, there's nothing over us, but there are some lake effect showers. We'll keep an eye on They Look like they're heading towards the Chicago area, so they'll be out of the picture for us, it looks like. But as we head over the next couple of hours, we'll be dry also on the cooler side of things, but I'll talk more about that big warm-up coming up in just about 10 minutes. Amy? AJ, thanks. Happening today, Fitchburg authorities will hold a neighborhood debriefing about the recent house explosion. It will happen at 7.30 tonight at the Fitchburg Council Chambers. Emergency response will be reviewed and an overview of the affected area will be discussed along with the recovery and the cleanup plan. The meeting is open to the public. Attorneys for two girls accused of trying to kill a 12-year-old classmate to please a horror character named Slenderman will try to have jurors selected outside Waukesha County for the defendant's trials. A defense motion filed this week for this action because of heavy media coverage. 
Prosecutors say the girls, all 12 years old at the time, lured their classmate to the, some woods in a Waukesha park and stabbed her 19 times before they ran. Milwaukee police are recommending an amended charge of homicide for a woman accused of beating her mother on the city's south side. 35-year-old Vicenta Manriquez was already facing a charge of first-degree reckless injury. She's accused of beating her 63-year-old mother, Shelby, on August 14th. Now, police say the mother died at a hospital on Wednesday, so they're asking the Milwaukee County District Attorney to amend the charge to first-degree reckless homicide. Around the world, an explosion has rocked the SpaceX launch site in Florida. NASA says SpaceX was conducting a test firing of its unmanned rocket when the blast happened this morning. Buildings several miles away shook from the blast and multiple explosions continued for several minutes. A cloud of dark smoke filled the overcast sky. The rocket was supposed to hoist an Israeli satellite this weekend. Tropical storm Hermine is building steam and now expected to make landfall a little sooner than expected, bringing fears of flooding to northern Florida. NBC Sarah Rosario is in Florida where the storm is already starting to make its presence known. Here in Cedar Key, Florida, we are just south of where Tropical Storm Hermine is expected to make landfall early tomorrow morning. And already there are several watches and warnings in effect. One of them is a hurricane warning. With this storm gaining strength, the threat for tornadoes and storm surge and flash flooding, all of that increases. Then the car went, whoop, and there was like a jump in the road, I don't know, and it, the water sloshed over the hood and it stopped. The rising water there forcing some people out of their homes as others scramble to get sandbags all in an effort to keep the water out. Getting ready, yeah. getting ready. Got the sand, got the gas for, for the generator. Florida Governor Rick Scott has declared a state of emergency for most of the state. This as local officials have barricaded roads in flood prone areas to keep drivers from getting stuck. Now, with many schools and stores closed, residents are being asked to stay inside and, of course, off the roads. Now, if this storm does make landfall as a hurricane, this will be the first in Florida in 11 years, believe it or not. And we are expecting an update from Governor Rick Scott at some point this afternoon. Reporting in Cedar Key, Sarah Rosario. NBC News.